electrical resistance. In this lesson, we shall learn about electrical resistance. Current flowing through a conductor always encounters some obstruction. This obstruction or hindrance to the flow of charge is called electrical resistance. The current in the circuit flows due to the drift of electrons. The free electrons in the metal wire move in a random manner. When the ends of a wire are connected to a cell, the electrons start moving from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. In this process, they collide with the positive ions and thus the speed of electrons decreases. Thus, the metal offers resistance to the flow of electrons because of these collisions. According to Ohm's law, if current I flows through a wire when the potential difference across the ends of the wire is V, the resistance offered by the same wire is V upon I. When conductors are joined in series, the resistance increases and when conductors are joined in parallel, their combined resistance decreases. The SI unit of resistance is Ohm. It is also written as volt per ampere. The resistance of a conductor is said to be 1 Ohm if a current of 1 ampere flows through it when the potential difference across it is 1 volt. The resistance of a wire depends on four factors. Length of the wire, thickness of the wire, material of the wire and temperature of the wire. Length of the wire. A long wire offers more resistance because the number of collisions in a long wire is more than a short wire. Thus, an increase in the length of the wire increases its resistance. Thickness of the wire. A thick wire has less resistance because it allows an easy flow of electrons across its cross-section. Thus, the resistance of a wire decreases with increase in thickness. Material of the wire. Resistance depends on the material of the wire as there is different concentration and different arrangement of atoms in different materials. Thus, the resistance of wires of same length and same area of cross-section but of different materials will be different. Good conductors such as metals have low resistance. Insulators, such as glass, have high resistance. Temperature of the wire. 
A higher temperature of the wire causes the ions in it to vibrate more rapidly. As the number of collisions increases, resistance also increases.